I hope the next quarterback on your list has a much better year than last year. And last year was good, too, for him. Uh, your number 17 quarterback is? Is Ahmed Fareed's favorite quarterback in football, right Jared now. Goff. That is true. Yeah, right that's now. right. I Hey, I know I haven't been like the biggest Jared Goff supporter in the past and all that, but there's no doubt about it that that was definitely his best season. All right? No doubt. Now, he's... Got a limited upside, but he's more talented than he gets credit for, right? That, that would be the thing that I would throw out there with Jared Goff. And, you know, big, tough, right? Has an underrated feel for the game. And what I mean by that is just like what we're saying. Like, you know, you've heard me bring it up two or three times now. Like having a feel for what's going to be there. Oh, this play's called, and ooh, I'm going to get this coverage, and you know, uh, I should have this guy open, or this guy should be here to me make this type of throw. Oh, wait, yep, it's exactly what I thought. Oh, wait, I got to buy a little time or sit on my back foot, and I'm going to get a 30 yard completion. He's he's got a good feel that way, or good feel for how the game's going overall, and then he can get really conservative and be like, wait, we're in a defensive struggle, and I'm not going to take any chances. But overall, a pretty aggressive decision maker. You know, and I said, big, tough, underrated feel for the game. The thing I love about him and your fearless Detroit Lions quarterback is he yeah. is fearless. I mean, he wants to stand in the pocket and make throws. And that's where I do like him. He doesn't have the sexiest release, right? It's a little long and elongated at times. He doesn't throw great spirals. But when you want to, you know, 20-yard crossing route, 30, 40-yard corner route, things like that, he's a good deep ball thrower. And he's not afraid to throw what I call the power explosive play type of throws into tight windows. And he doesn't flinch when he does it. And that has made your offense very dangerous and tough to deal with last year. Yeah. That coupled with the run game you guys had and a few creative screens here and there. And now you're defending the whole field. And that's where I give Jared Goff a lot of credit. Yeah. And I think there was a the thought, too, that, you know, he's away from Sean McVay. He's had his best years with Sean McVay. There's no way. That's the best coaching he's going to get. And so yeah. you go away from there. And not we're not the gonna same see the quality. Same guy. Not yeah. the same quality there. Yeah. Ben, ben Johnson was awesome last awesome. year. I'm glad he's still going to be around with the Detroit Lions. And they They've pushed him. And so, exactly. They, they, he's doing different things now with the Lions yes. than he did with the Rams. I think they pushed him. I think he realized, wait, my back's against the wall for my professional starting quarterback career here. I got to start to make some plays and throws where, yeah, maybe I didn't have to do them in L.A. because we were real good. My defense was awesome. And my coach said, hey, you know, if it's not there, don't take a chance because we'll hand it off to Gurley or throw a screen to him later and he'll break one. Don't worry. So just, you know, don't force it. They pushed the envelope with him a little bit, and you see that, and it's made him a more dangerous quarterback. Now, you know, he's a below-average scambler, and he could be better than that because he's not a bad athlete. Like I talked to you before the podcast, is like, pot, I mean, bootlegs, you know, uh, play-action passes. Every now he does, Evan does scramble. He can run. He needs to expand that part of his game, right? That, that's something that he's missing. His arm power is better than you think. He can push the ball, push the ball down the field with ease, right? And you know, he he. I talked about his delivery being long, long and deliberate, and that's something I wish he would get a little bit better at. There's no variety of releases or anything over that, but because of his size and the way he does release the ball, he's one of those few quarterbacks that can throw over the line of scrimmage. People in his face, and he can still kind of just stand tall and get his arm up high and throw a 15-yard in cut over the middle. Mm -hmm. I give a lot. There's there's plays like that to be had in the NFL a lot, and we don't give them credit sometimes, right? And and he capitalizes on that. He he's not going to be able to like flick it or throw like you know anything like oh I'm about to get hit and let me flick it that way. That's not what he does. All right. Um, what else did I want to say? He's not great off of his back back foot if he's getting pressure that way okay but like I said he's a really good deep ball thrower the things with him is you know he's not going to carry your team he's not going to do a lot much off schedule but he sees the field well he understands the big picture of the game yeah. and he makes more power throws than you think well and who knows too he's got some more confidence the exactly. coaches had confidence in him exactly. he showed that he could handle it and maybe he can take another step forward jared goff saved the lions tweeted to you i like that name well done <laughs> how impressed were you with jared goff last season how would another successful season from him make you feel about his career so he's already as high as he's ever been in your rankings right. previous high was 19 that was the summer after the rams reached the super bowl so yep. now he's 17 
What if he does this again? What if he shows that he can do this in back to back years? I, I mean, yeah, I don't know if he'll go to the top ten. You know, I don't, I don't know. It depends on that. But I think what if he does it back to back? It's so like, again, the clock stops ticking, and we yeah. go, no, 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 no. You, it, there, he's gonna get an extension, right? Yeah. Or he's going to go somewhere and be the starter and well, get another contract Red extension. Red Holmes has talked about an extension already so, with, with him there, even though they drafted Hendon Hooker, Hooker, Hooker right. who's 25. And right. Goff's still only 28 right now. I know. And I didn't even mention Kyler Murray is 25, too. That's a crazy thing it's about crazy. some of these guys. It in really this, is. This group, they are, they are still young. And Goff at 28 is yeah. still young. Got a lot in front of him. You know, he's improved his game. We'll see if they can continue to improve upon that within their culture and all that. But, yes, it's brought something to him. And like I said, yeah, more of these offensive output is because of him and his ability and, and his, his, his throws and decisions rather than, like I used to say, silver platter plays where it's like, oh, Sean McVay dialed up the first perfect play and the whole defense is screwed and there's a wide open guy for, f for five yard throw that he's going to run for 70. Can you hit that guy and we'll pay you 40 million a year? And that's what it was. Now it's like, no, no, we're not going to come up with all those shenanigans. We got a bunch of awesome plays, and we're going to call them. And hey, the twenty-yard out route's there. Throw it. I don't care. He's open by seven inches. Throw it. And that's where he is upped his game. Is his confidence just letting it fly more? Yeah. And being aggressive that way to where he's became dangerous and somewhat of a playmaker last year. And those are the first time ever I could use those words with Jared Goff. And and, and he does have some talent around him. He's got a really good offensive line, he which does. I think is the most important sure. thing. But, you know, Amon Ross St. Brown has been awesome, but he was not a top draft pick. And I give Jared Goff some credit in developing him. They've yeah. come together and and ascended together, too. Uh, they got the two new running backs this year. They got Sam Laporta at, uh, at tight end. So, I mean, when you take the offensive line, you take what they have around them. I, is it fair to say that this could be a top five-ish offense this season? I think so. I, I think that's fair to say. There's a lot of pieces there. O-line's legit. You talked about the running back thing. You know, t Laporta, I mean, you know, that was my second favorite tight end in the draft. Mm -hmm. Jamison Williams, when he does come back from his gambling thing, he's going to be a difference maker. There's been rumors that like maybe DeAndre Hopkins might get in the, involved in this conversation with Detroit. I don't can see them. It. Don't jinx it. Okay, I won't jinx it. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't be shocked. He would fit that style of ball. And hey, wait, I'm open by seven inches. Just hammer it in there to me, and I'll catch it. I got strong hands, and I'm a physical receiver. He he would fit all that. I can certainly see that. So we'll see where it goes. We know this is a team that has potential. It's going to be a different year. It's going to be a big year for Jared Goff. Yep. Does he capitalize and get the clock to stop ticking? Or, you know, does he leave more meat on the bone and we go, oh, man, I don't know, Detroit needs to – to define, you know, the quarterback of the future. But this is where it's different, too. They're going to be a better team. You know, where he's hard, too, that quarterback play, you know, and is offense is really good, like you said. Ben yeah. Johnson is really good. We named all the things that go along with it. And then also when your defense stinks, it does embolden the quarterback because it's just like, hey, we got to throw and go, and they're just – it's just the, the offensive coordinator is aggressive as hell. It could be different this year if you're in your in more 13-10 situations, 17-14 sure. situations, right, to lend itself to a little more pressure on the quarterback in those situations rather than, hey, we're just in a shootout versus the Dolphins and whoever gets the ball last wins, right? There was some of that that does make the game easier for a quarterback. We saw it with Matt Stafford when he was well, with the Lions right. and they were throwing the ball 50 times a game and he got into a rhythm and right. had gaudy numbers. But exactly. I still love Matt Stafford, my second favorite Lion of all time to – the great Barry Sanders, it'll probably be the way it always is until Jack Campbell just comes onto the scene and <laughs> tears everything up. But not Bucky Cox says to us, he goes, screw Chris's rankings. The <laughs> people you. need Ahmed's answer. If you had one season and needed them to take the Lions to a playoff win, who would you rather have leading your team, Ahmed, Stafford or Goff? Now, my love of Matt Stafford, I just said it yeah. once again. I love Matt Stafford. Right. This season, though, and we have not seen Stafford in your rankings yet, so right. I assume he's still coming up. This season, with with what we've seen with Stafford and the injury, I, I would, if if I know and I do have the Lions, and that we got good talent around them, yeah, I would say give me the safer option, who I think still has good upside. I would I would go with golf go for with this golf. year with the Lions. You'd be worried about for that Stafford team. age, injury history. I all go, we're that. in our window. We right. need a good, reliable year from a I quarterback. I would take golf over yeah, Stafford. I get that. I mean, again, hey, Stafford's coming up. He's not coming up today. 
He's going to be in, of course, my rankings, right? Stafford's talent is real, but I think what you're talking about is real too. You know, I, I hear what you're saying there. I don't know what we're going to get out of Stafford too. That's certainly one of the questions I had as I was going through this evaluation as well. How could age and him not being beat up and all that not play into where he's ranked? And he's, he's lower than I've had him in quite some time. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think you're off with what you said there. But I still love Matt Stafford, and I think he is the best Lions quarterback maybe ever. you, know, you got to go back to the Bobby Lane pre-Super Bowl era. I'm, I'm with you there. Uh, and he, he might hold that mantle for a long time to come. Yo, 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 thanks for watching, homies. It's the offseason, but you know there's no offseason for us here at Unbutton. Me, Ahmed Farid, we're going to hit all the stories. So hit subscribe for us, okay? We got a ton coming up. My draft prospect rankings, my Sims top 40 quarterback countdown, and videos of me and NFL QBs playing catch and talking about their development and mechanics. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out, homies. See you soon.